Happy Father's Day. What's going on guys? Happy Father's Day. I hope you're all having a great day. So today I thought I'll make a video. I'm just going to talk to the camera. I just met with a person that bought a plan off me a while back. She's a lovely girl, Abby, if you're watching this. And we just started chatting and she asked me about how I came up with, you know, the name for like Make a Decision Fitness and <clears throat> where it sort of came from. And I told her and she said like it was a really nice story. So I thought, why not share it with you guys? And since it's Father's Day, it kind of makes sense. Um, now, again, I always do this before I start talking about my dad. Like, I'm not doing this for sympathy. I, I just think it's kind of a cool story on this day as well. Kind of show you where I got the idea from and why this means so much to me. Uh, but I'm not sad. I'm happy. It's been a great day. And yeah, so we'll get into this. So um, the reason, when I was deciding to make... A fitness band. Like, when I started personal training about three, four months in, I decided I didn't want to just kind of go with my name. You know, you see a lot of them, it's just kind of like Billy Smith Fitness, Billy Smith PT, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I just I wanted to create something more, something that kind of meant more, something that was more than me, you know? Uh, so, you know, I was sitting there trying to come up with ideas. I thought, you know, mad, mad is kind of like easy to remember, and but there's tons of I'm pretty sure there's a, a mad fitness company already and so I had to come up with something different. So I was thinking of anagrams and thinking of names and I used, but I, wanted, I thought, what means something to me? What resonates with me? And the one thing that always resonated with me with was my dad was always very decisive. Like when he wanted something done and once he said he was doing it, it was, it was going to happen. It was done. Um... <laughs> And that's kind of the idea when I was pondering, I was like, make a decision. I was like, does it really ring? Does it? I don't know. But I just kind of went with it because, you know, that's, it, it resonated with me. Uh, because, and I, this is, the story is like, <clears throat> there's numerous stories, but the one I always tell is, there was one day my dad, my dad was a mechanic and he was raging because he couldn't figure out what was, what was his Jeep. He had this big Land Rover that he loved. And he couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, so he said it was a Friday night, and he said to me and my mum, like, right, I'm going to strip the, the whole engine apart tomorrow morning, and then find out what's wrong, and I'll put it all back together and be ready um, for the rest of the day, because we needed the car for something. And me and my mum just kind of, like, looked at him, just like, yeah, all right, mate, sure. <laughs> so, especially because my dad, like, it's kind of the reason I always like to get up so early and why I've kind of disciplined myself to do that is because my dad, when he worked for loading buses, he would get up at like six, no, like five in the morning, half five in the morning, every morning to go get up and go to work, you know, five, six days a week. And Saturday was normally his only day where, Saturday or Sunday would kind of alternate um, where he didn't need to do that. And, you know, he was, we're pretty sure he just wasn't going to do it. But sure enough, he was up. I, I remember walking down, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning, and he'd had the whole Jeep engine just out on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, I, like out on the out on the um, car, uh, in the driveway. And I was just looking at it like, oh my God, what has he done? And he told me he'd figured out what was wrong with it, but I just couldn't believe he'd actually done it. But I was just thinking like, oh God, like we're not gonna have a car. I was only like 12, 13 at the time. And I was just, even mum was just like, oh my God. So I went away. I don't know if I went out. I don't know if I went back to sleep for a little bit. Came back. It was like midday and the whole engine back together in the car. You know, and it's such a simple story, but I just couldn't believe that he did that. He just said that he was going to, and the next day it was done and he figured out what was wrong. You know, because he really loved being a mechanic. He enjoyed it. He was good at it. And, you know, there's numerous stories like that, 
with my dad, he, whenever I had something going on, it was mostly with football or whatever, he said, like, you need to do something. Decide, you know, figure out what you're going to do and decide and go for it. That was always his attitude. It kind of got him into a lot of trouble. Another, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it wasn't such a good thing because, like, at Christmas time one year, uh, like, me and my sister were still young, so you can imagine lots of toys, lots of wrapping paper and stuff. And we got, like, you know, you get the cards and you get the money in it. So we'd all, we'd put our money in like, I think, a little envelope, all of it. And, you know, again, very decisive, just decides, right, he's going to clean the whole house, get all ready for dinner at night. And because sometimes we would just sit and like, leave it and there would be a rush. And he picked it, just cleaned the whole house, top to bottom. But he had chucked, <laughs> he'd done it so fast that he chucked me and my sister's money out, <laughs> out into the bucket and my mum was raging. But, um, yeah that's kind of where it comes from because he was so decisive and when something was needed to be done as soon as it was decided and it was in his head that he was going to do it he'd do it and that's why this resonates with me so much that's the message i'm trying to spread you know that if you want to do something it's in your control just decide make a decision go for it you know don't sit and ponder don't sit and wait my dad always said you know would encourage me you know, you know, you want to be better at passing in football, go practice it, go do it. You decided you want to do that, go do it. You know, no excuses, no wait about. You want it, go do it. So yeah, um, just a little story for Father's Day. Uh, kind of explain you a little bit more about it. But yeah, I hope you've all had a great day. Please, if you do have your dad around, um, whether he's with you or whatever, you know, give him a cuddle, tell him you love him, send him a text, you know, whatever. Because, and also maybe just sit for a second and maybe just think about all the little things he does for you that maybe you take for granted. Oh, it's a good day. Just decide. Make a decision.